In today's episode, I'd like to talk about reeds and ligatures, and particularly how to put your reed on correctly with different kinds of ligatures. Here I have four different kinds of ligatures. This is something that you would start out on in fourth grade. It's got two screws, they're on the bottom. Simple, right? Here I have two screws. The screws are not designed to be on the bottom. I can tell that because of this part here. You can see how that doesn't really line up very well with the top of the mouthpiece. There's a gap here. But when I put the screws on, this has a nice tight seal. This is called a Rico H ligature. Should you have one? I don't know. It's what came with this particular mouthpiece, so it's what I use. Here's one, though, that I really like. And this is called a Van Doren M slash O. What I like about it, it only has one screw. How many times do you go to tighten these and one of the two screws breaks off? And then you gotta decide, where do I put it? Well, actually, if that happens and one of your screws comes off, you want it in the top screw closest to the tip of the mouthpiece. But what I like about this, and I'll put a link in the description, is that yes, it has one screw on top, so the pressure is coming to one point. It has a nice channel down here for the reed to lay on the mouthpiece. I would use this kind of ligature for jazz band. The last ligature would be something like this. This is called a Rovner ligature. It's leather, and the screw goes on top. Lots of times I see people with this kind of mouthpiece and the screw on the bottom. The only mouthpiece that has the screw on the bottom is the very first one I showed you, which is what you get from like fourth grade. So if you notice, as you step up, the screws now have changed place on the top and on the top. That's kind of moving up into intermediate level of ligatures. Regardless the ligature style, the part that is the most important, how your reed goes on. So many times when I listen to people play and they're having difficulty playing, first thing I would do is look at their reed and their reed looks something like that or it looks something like that or it looks something like that. All of those reeds are in the incorrect place. Where do I put my reed? Well, first step, I never want to slide my reed through the back of the mouthpiece. A lot of people think, oh, I'll just slide it through like this. You always want to go with the thick part. Remember, the tip is the most fragile. So what I do, I'll do it as if I'm you. I start at the tip and I slide it down through. This is really hard to do backwards. I've never done it this way before. So that's step one. Notice I'm not doing this. A lot of you do this. Don't do that. The next step is using my thumb, I align the reed to where the tip of the reed matches the tip of the ligature. The reed's not sticking way out past the mouthpiece. It's not going way down below. The last step is you want to make sure on the sides the reed is even, meaning the same thickness of reed to mouthpiece is on both sides. One last thing you need to know. Never, ever leave your reed on the mouthpiece overnight. It's okay to leave it on and come back and play 20 minutes later or at the most an hour later, but never leave the reed on overnight. So hopefully that tip helps you no matter what ligature it is. Here's the, the metal one. Same deal. I'm sliding it in. The tip of the reed, tip of the mouthpiece. The edges perfectly even on both sides. 